everyone and welcome to another CMG Tech Byte video. My name is Qusay al Hinay, and I'm going to show you how to create a field history file in Bibli. So first of all, what is a production or injection file? Well, it's simply a file that contains well production and injection information from external software such as OFM and so on. And it's basically in a format that Builder can understand, which meaning that the file can be imported into Builder and has an extension of .prd. Whereas a field history file is the same information, but in a different format, such that other CMG softwares like results and CMOS can understand. And that file format is created in Builder and has an extension of .fhf. So let's see an example. Over here, I have a .prd, a production file, which has our production data. I have 11 wells, and at the top here, we have a format with five columns in this case. And the first column is our well name, okay? So here we have well one. If you go down, you'll get the other wells. We have date, and it's in day, month, year. The sequence doesn't matter because Builder can understand it as long as it's consistent with the actual information. Oil produced with its unit, water produced with its unit, and gas produced with its unit, okay? So 11 wells, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to go to a model and in this model I have those 11 wells but they're missing their production data okay so I'm going to go to wells and recurrent and I'm going to import uh, the PRD file so going down in wells and recurrent and going to import production injection data I'm going to stick with general which is for our PRD you can also import as an FHF and fraction injection data, but for, for FHF, you would need to create it first in Builder, which is what we're going to do right now uh, after importing it, importing this production file. So go browse for your PRD file. Mine is here. And open it up. And click on Next. Here, you just simply have to click on the first line for the first one, so this one. And the second section, the same thing, so that they match and go next. And you can see here that it imported all the information from our production file. Click on next and you simply have to now match uh, each column such that builder understands. So for in this case, well name, I'm going to look for well name here, date and time, it understood and it also got the format correct, day, month, year. Here we have oil produced, so I'm going to look for oil produced water produced and gas produced and you can change the unit however in our case it's correct meter cube per day okay so click on next and over here you can change the primary constraint of each well i'm going to set it the same if you would like to change it you'd right click it and change whatever uh, constraint you'd like it to be okay and set it and finish all right uh, set the date, the last date, if you'd like, in our simulation. I'm going to set it to not limit grid output and click OK. And over here, you can see that all the information has been uh, imported. And to check it, you can simply go to Well Events. And you can see that we have the information for each well. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a field history file. So now Builder has understood and imported that PRD file. Now we're going to create a field history file such that results and see most can understand. So we can use it over there. So going to Wells and Recurrent, I'm going to go to Create Field History File. And very simply, what it's going to do, what it's asking in this case is, where do you want to save that FHF file? Okay. So here I'm going to save it this place and by default it's going to name it the same as your prd file but just changing the extension to .fhf so i'm going to save it and here the title within the text file is going to be production data field history file you can change it if you'd like and click ok and by that simply it has created your field history file okay i'm going to open it up here Okay, and over here we have the field history file we just created. So over here at the top, 
it shows the date that we created it, which is August the 3rd, okay, the same date as today, and the title that we mentioned, you could change it, it's up to you, the date that the simulation actually starts, the model simulation, and the format, date format, okay? So the date format relating to the date and the time over here. And four represents the number of columns afterwards. So for example, you have gas rate, liquid rate, oil rate, and water rate. Now liquid rate was added as a, by default to for water and oil combined, okay? Now you have your units, the same thing as identified, and you have 12 sector sections in this case. Remember we had 11 wells, now the FHF has created a 12th one, okay? Now that 12th one is simply a group, which is an accumulation of all of those producing wells for the entire field. So if you go to results and you'd like to see the production of the whole field, of all the wells together, Builder has by default created a group for that, okay, which makes your life easier. And with that, you've created your FHF file, as simple as that, and I hope this video was interesting and hope to see you in another Tech Byte video. Thank you.